Why we still have these masks on? Fuck your mask up. So my quad is attached to my knee through the patella. South Africa. I'm on a, a baggage thing. Don't know what you want to call it. Because the guy with the wheelchair just bounced. We're gonna check into the hotel. Stay tuned, guys. So we've arrived at the hotel. Let's check out the room. Uh, we gotta make the most of this thing, huh? You have a reservation for Kadura? Oh, yeah. Why we still have these masks on, bro? Mask on. Fuck it, mask on. Mask on. Oh hey Moody, how's it going man? Welcome What's to up, your bro? room man. Moody will be sleeping in here, Moody. That's your room? Yes. Okay, I requested a double bed because I didn't want Moody to play with my bum while we sleep. Uh, thank God so, for that. For those of you who don't know, I get super shit scared on planes. It just makes me sweat, so I'm gonna remove that. So back for a guy that hasn't worked out in a week, yeah? I did eat less. But I had a lot of sweets, I needed some comfort food. Go and go eat some good food. If you guys don't know, South Africa has some of the best, best restaurants in the world. If you haven't visited South Africa, really sucks for you. This is our second day here. A lot of you might be wondering why we're in South Africa, or why I came to South Africa to get this done. I used to go to boarding school here, a good 15 years ago. So yeah, that's where I was playing most of my sports. And uh, South Africa is very well known for amazing medical facilities, especially when it comes to sports injuries. My doctor, he was one of the best in the world. I had a previous surgery here, like I told you, and I'm also coming back for the same reason, because you can't, can't take chances with your body. So luckily, I'm fortunate enough to see a, a very good specialist. Off we go. Mandela style. Let's go. Uh, get checked out. Do we have any masks left? Uh, no, they're in the room. Fuck, I just put the end of the, the crutch on here and that must be filthy. Put it the other way then. Oh, man, that's nasty. What can I do? I can't get in the building. This <laughs> idiot's got his mask on the opposite way. What a dumb meathead. I'm in Morningside Clinic. I'm having my operation done by Dr. Botha. So we're up, we're going for a consultation just now. Few moments later. So yeah, we just got done with the doctor. Basically, he was like, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So I can give you guys an exact idea of what they're gonna do to me tomorrow when they cut me up, in it? Here's what happened, okay? I ain't a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But the muscles here in the quads are attached to the knee. Wait, let me get a bit specific here. So the quad tendons here, the quad is the biggest muscle in the human body. So we know that's a fact, other than the gluteus maximus. Actually, which is the biggest muscle in the body? The glute or the quad? I mean, the quad is the biggest group of muscles, but I think the doctor confused me. Hit me down in the comments. Let me know, doctors, where you at? So my quad is attached to my knee through the potato Hella tendon. Uh, <laughs> the tendon here and the ligaments are joined to the knee. Yeah, why am I having such a brain fart? I forgot to say. Okay, so the quad, there's a tendon joined to the pat. Do you know when you're in an exam? You're like, wait, is that quad to the Anyway, there's something that attaches from here to here. I've been so stressed that I've forgotten what he was talking about. But he's probably talking about the patella tendon. So now I've torn connection between the quad and the knee. Here, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna cut up here, reconnect my tendon to the knee so that I'll have a functioning knee. I hope. You don't seem sure. 
The unfortunate thing is that he said that I'm gonna need about, to be like a normal person and do what normal people do, I'd need six months. To get it back to what I used to do, which was heavy lifting, by the way, which is why he told me this happened. Uh, I overtrained, like I really put my legs under a lot of stress and pain and, and it's taken its toll on my ligaments. So if you are like me, what, ha what happened was I used to start to feel a crack every time I go up and down while I was squatting. I think if you do have that problem, immediately seek help. Don't leave it like I did because then eventually this happens. Fucking stretch. Look after your muscles. Stretching is one. Deep tissue massages is two. Basically everything under the sun and moon that you can do to make sure that your body's healthy, that will allow you to avoid these injuries. And I think stretching is the main one. Even though I'm very flexible, I neglected stretching. Your body is like a car or, or a machine. It starts at the beginning very well oiled, but after years of usage, shit wears down. So you have to oil that stuff. You have to maintain it. You have to take it in and rework that machine. That's basically what I did not do. So you all better do it. My operation's at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Until then, I'm gonna make the most of this lovely day. Nice. Nice, eh? Hey? Too bad I'm gonna be in a hospital. Stay tuned, I'll update you a little bit later. Now, also make a video about the rehab. I think that will help a lot of you because you're gonna come through the process with me. Whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so it was really bothering me that I had that brain fart. I think I should properly know what the fuck I'm gonna get fixed. So let me just get real specific and biological on you in doctor's jargon, okay? <laughs> Pain. <laughs> the first thing that comes up. So you've got, you see this thing here? That's your patella, the bone. Now you've got the connections to the patella and what is called the patella tendon, innit? So you've got patella tendon from below and you've got the patella tendon from above. My patella tendon is from above, innit? Yeah, I fucked him up. That one's gone. Mine ripped here. So they're gonna reattach that one from up there. They're gonna bring it back down here and connect it to my patella bone. So yeah, thank you for tuning in with Dr. Behesh. I'm not really a doctor, but yeah, you learned something new today. This is called the patella. You're fucking welcome. Get out of here. Sorry, we're not done. I actually found a better picture for you guys. So, welcome back to Dr. Behesh. And here we have the patella tendon, yeah? Sorry, correction, correction. Here we have the patella, yeah? That is on the tibia. And this is my quadriceps. What? Uh, quadriceps. That's my quads, dogs. So, my quads. What the doctor told me was that they were too powerful for this tendon. This is a tendon. Is it? Yeah, why didn't they fucking label it? Quadriceps tendon actually is what... Yeah, yeah, this is the quadriceps tendon. You see this here? Oh shit, I clicked on it by mistake. Wow, that's a messy ass laptop. That's the quadriceps tendon that connects to the patella. It's all coming back to me now. And I ripped the connection between there, this thing. I basically ripped this thing and they're gonna reconnect it. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in next time. And we're back. No, I'm just kidding, just fuck.